Good morning, everybody. This is a great day to do another episode of Baseline Drive. I just ended up traveling through the wine country of Temecula, headed to Fallbrook, California to share some positive coaching with a great equestrian program called Reigns that works with special needs children. But top of mind is the Little League World Series. Today it starts in Williamsport and uh, it's an exciting time where kids from all over the nation and all over the world get together and get a chance to make friends and develop relationships and compete uh, against some, some of the best uh, little leaguers in the world. And um, For about the last 21 of the last 24 years, I've had a chance to attend the Little League Western Regional Finals in San Bernardino for teams from all over the Western United States. And... I noticed something about all of the participants. Uh, They stay in the dorms, just like they do in Williamsport. They swim, they play tennis, they have fun, they run around campus, they hang out as a team, they practice. And when I'm watching them, I've noticed some things about their attitudes. I've yet to see a kid that really runs around, is disrespectful, horses around, doesn't have a concern with other people, has a bad attitude. Uh, And you see those kids in neighborhoods, parks, little league fields all over the country all the time. And it got me thinking about the leagues that actually make it to San Bernardino. And I wonder if those leagues just don't have any of those kind of kids. The kind of kids that run around and act like a fool. And that's probably not the case. Those leagues probably have kids like that. Just any league with 100, 200, 300 kids is going to have uh, kids like that just, uh, just by mere percentages. And then I wonder, well, maybe the coaches on those teams just didn't pick players that had those kind of attitudes. And that could be. Maybe that's why they're where they're at. Uh, But generally, people want to win, and the best players get on the team, uh, regardless of those characteristics. So I think the more likely answer is that teams that have players that have questionable character on or off the field and exhibit behaviors that aren't the best probably don't win enough to get to the Western Regional Finals or to get to a high level in any sport that they happen to be competing. I think that's more likely the answer. Teams that have great character on and off the field probably have the resilience and grit and bounce back ability to make it through 20 games uh, plus of all-star competition and navigate their way to, to great heights in a, in a tournament like the, the Little League World Series. Uh, so that's a lesson, I think, to, to kids and coaches is to ve- develop those kind of characteristics and make sure the kids absorb the life lessons that they need uh, to develop to become great people while they're playing, uh, while they're playing youth sports. So enjoy the Little League World Series. Pick it up on ESPN, ABC. It's a great time. Uh, My wife always likes to say, you know, somebody's going to win and little boys are going to cry. But sometimes it's those tears and dealing with the failures and setbacks that really um, are those teachable moments that show kids that they can bounce back from anything and become uh, successful at whatever it is they're doing. So don't uh, hide them from those challenges. Uh, embrace the struggle, and like a very good friend of mine likes to say, be great. Coach Loke, out.